s'il te plaît. Hi, Michael Happy here. You know me because I'm the founder of Givox. I make these kind of watch. And recently I created my latest watch, the Avi Diver, and I wanted to put it to the test. You know I make watches for aviation, so why not putting my watch in space? I think it's going to be difficult to find a astronaut that takes my watch. So why not putting my watch in space myself with a team of guys there? So how I'm going to do that? First, I need a huge meteorological balloon. I want to prove my watch goes in space. So I need to go there with a balloon. And this balloon will be filled with gas. So we're going to have this latex balloon. This one is going to be one and a half kilos of latex, but it's going to be filled with more than four square meter of uh, heli um, helium gas. Okay, so it's going to be up in space. It's going to reach around 32, 35 kilometers of height. It is in a stratosphere. We will be able to see the curve of the space. That's going to be super cool. And we will bring that with this box. Okay, you have a box with two Gavox watch. One of them will be my Gavox Aurora decounting the time. It's a roughly two an hour, two hour and a half travel, two an hour up, one and a half hour down, and I'm gonna decount the time with my countdown. It's gonna be fun. Then I have my other Gavox or Avi Diver that's also gonna be filmed with my own personal <laughs> iPhone, so I hope I will not lose it. Then inside I have a tracker, a spot tracker. This one is going to be uh, making sure I find it back. Uh, it's a satellite spotter tracker and I'm going to track it with some uh, other devices to see where it lands. And I have a GoPro here and another GoPro filming, uh, filming over here the curve of the earth. Then it's gonna go up to its maximal altitude and at that area the balloon will explode. Minus 60 degrees over there it's gonna be super cold. It's gonna explode and fall. In order to avoid this box falling down straight to earth we will have this parachute. So it's gonna slow down the, the, the whole stuff and make it go to earth calm and soft and smooth. Another important thing, whenever you put a balloon in space and you reach that altitude, you may cross some airplanes coming over. So we need these airplanes to be able to see the balloon. And how are we going to do this? With this reflector, okay? So this is a radar reflector and this radar reflector will allow the plane to see this device, okay? So, let's see how it's gonna go. I'm super excited. Let's hope we can still leave from here. If not, because of weather condition, winds, we need to be sure this lands in a safe area, or open area like a field or crop, but not in a city, not on a highway. So there's a special tool that allows us to do that. Let's see if we manage to leave from here or not, but it's going to be a super day for Givox, okay? And thank you to all the team. We'll see. See you later, guys. Bye.